right now we're talking about um, loan loan markets, and I think this is I think this is extremely relevant when you boil it down to a number of players who are showing a lot of promise, like Billy Gilmore at Chelsea, in a bid to improve player development and opportunities. Should the loan window be opened up for the whole season here in England for young players? Is it not good because it gives flexibility to managers, but it also gives flexibility to young players who get game time opportunity? When you look at it, Billy Gilmore, who was doing well under Frank at Chelsea since Tuchel arrived has only played 162 minutes for Chelsea under Thomas Tuchel starting in two FA Cup matches he's not in the, the squad tonight uh, against Porto and he was denied a loan move back in January and now we know certainly in Billy Gilmore's case Torino are interested taking him on loan Napoli are interested taking him on loan there's interest from Leicester and we know that West Ham are big admirers as well so the loan market it. How about it? For under 21s, what about a flexible loan market that's opened up for the whole season here in England? Makes sense to me. 08717 8010 Can I ask a question? Go on. If there's no loan market open, how do we know that these people are interested in taking them on loan? How do you mean? Because in January... Well, there's no loan market now, is there? There's no loan market available in it, April, so it, w w how would we know that these clubs in want general to take him? terms? We know that they are in. We know that they've made inquiries, mm -hmm. but okay. Chelsea are holding on to the player. Well, it just seems like an exercise in semantics, isn't it? There's no loan market open; they can't do a loan. So, how would they be wanting to talk about a loan? Well, if the window was, but this is the whole point. If the window was open, then if it could it were, go on. Loan. But if my aunt were my uncle, that would be a different discussion as well. Let's find out what uh, Sam and Chelsea fans got to say about it. Sam, good morning. Good morning, Jim. Good morning, Simon. How are you? Very well, despite right, Jim. Good, good. <laughs> what do you think of this one, Sam? First of all, I just want to say it's an absolute honour to be speaking to Simon Jordan. Um, I, I drive around every day at work, my job, and I find myself agreeing with 99.9% .9 of what Simon comes out with. Simon, it's an honour to be able to speak to you this morning. Oh, that's very kind. Thank you very much. Sam, well, you, uh, that, that's good. Now, move on. <laughs> <laughs> What I want to say um, is, is I actually agree um, about the, the the transfer window being un, um, sort of open for that season for the under 21s. I'm a big Chelsea fan myself. Yeah. Uh, it's interesting that Billy Gilmore's raised. That guy has some serious, serious talent. Um, but, but what good is it for him to be sitting on the bench or being an unused substitute week after week? when he could be going out uh, on loan to a smaller club and getting that experience. And then coming back to us in a couple of years' time, um, developed, a couple of years older, uh, and then being an established first-team player. Uh, I know West Ham and Leicester were mentioned. So I'm going to be honest, if you look at those two sides at the moment, he's probably going to find himself in the same situation. So he's not actually going to be developing. I would be looking at... a. Uh, you know, a Premier League side, a Crystal Palace, a Southampton, a Brighton, someone like that, where he's going to be able to play Premier League football every every week. Good point, Sam. Um, Good point. Sam, can yeah, I... Yeah, in I, terms of development can opportunity. Can I ask the question, isn't part and parcel of being a professional footballer fighting to get your place back? Isn't that part of it? Yeah. When you're part of a 25-man squad, you're ne not all of you can play anyway, so isn't part of the... If you're, if you're, if you're, if you're on the sidelines forever and a day for weeks and months and years, yeah, that's a problem. But if it's a short period of time, say half a season, and you're learning to fight for your space back inside an elite club, what's wrong with that as well? I think, I think that's a good point. Um, I think if Lampard had stayed, I think we'd probably be having a different conversation because we know Lampard was keen to develop uh, the young British players. You know, Mason Mount being a prime example. Tuchel's maybe got a different, a different approach about him whereby um, he doesn't necessarily see Billy Gilmore in the same light. So, whilst I absolutely agree, fighting for your place, he's still only 19. And I think a year, a couple of years of experience at a, a club where he's going to be playing and developing yeah. and growing yeah. is only going, to, it's only going to help him, I think. Sam, good points. Good of you to come on. Thank you so much. Thanks for your very kind comments uh, uh, about Simon, which clearly were kind, but clearly misplaced. <laughs> uh, Lee's a big United <laughs> fan. Lee, good morning to you. Hi, lads. How we doing? Good, mate. Now, do you want to get over with? Do you want to praise Jordan or do you just want to get to the main point? Oh, no, I'll get to the main point. I agree completely with what Simon's saying before, what he alluded to with the abuse of the transfer market, or the loan market, sorry. Um, I believe it, it, it seems like less if they've got Harvey Barnes or something like that out for maybe two, three weeks. I think they'll go straight in, loan a player, 
and maybe play him two or three weeks and then after that just completely forget about him and put him in the back. I don't think that's good for a young player. I don't, I don't think that's good for a player going out on loan and that sort, no. Right, OK. I mean, not if it, but a totally flexible market lead, do you not think that would do a whole bunch of under-21 players a lot of good? I know, but, yeah, but it's like, like the two shirt two club coming in. It's a new manager with new ways of thinking and a new system. I think the likes of Billy Gilmore, I think he's got to knuckle down, uh, knuckle down and try and fight for his place. As Simon said before as well, uh, you've got you've got players that need to knuckle down and work hard and fight for the spot. And I think that's the best way for him to learn, to be honest. Okay, I mean, one such example, Stephen Birchinall is suggesting all you've got to do is look at Phil Foden. A great example is staying at the club, learning and developing. Sure, I mean, he's a prime example, of course he is. He's a standout example. Tony, Liverpool fan. Tony, we know you. Good morning. Oh, no, lads, hope you will. Good, uh, haven't heard from you for a while. How are you keeping? Good, Jim, good. Uh, I, I agree here that there should be no restrictions on players under the age of 21 in terms of uh, moving um, outside the uh, parameters of the current uh, windows. I don't think there should be any windows for anyone who's under 21. And you could even go as far. If you were concerned about foreign players who've come into the um, academies, Maybe they've got to spend five years at an academy, and as long as they're under 21, they could also be included in that. Uh, because when the window slams shut, as it does, and you do it yourself, um, those lads are stuck there for six months. If you get some clubs that are going to need a player for two, three months, yeah. so then, then they could get them. Whereas when the window closes, they've got to then wait from like the January window to the summer to get a move. Uh, that's not fair for me. So I, I think there should be unlimited movement for players who are under 21 who are British born and if they come into the academy as a foreigner as long as they've been in the academy for five years up to the age of 21 I've got no problems with them coming and going even if it's just for a month six weeks eight weeks whatever I don't think there should be any restrictions whatsoever on them I like that Tony some very don't you so, I like no, that some very interesting points about, about homegrown talent and developing it that way yeah. but also the irony of it and the, some, some of the, the things that I've uh, thought of before is that a lot of players Actually, the irony of, the, of our observation is a lot of players actually don't want to go out and loan. And I thought previously that clubs should make it an absolute obligation when they give them a, a scholarship and a pro contract on the back of it that they can put them out and loan. Yeah. Some players that play for Chelsea don't want to go out and loan because going somewhere further down the pyramid isn't what they want to do and don't want on their resume. They don't think it's an enhancement of their opportunity. They actually think it's a devaluation of their stock. So I'm arguing both for and against my own point. Yeah, who's ever said that? What, running with hair and hunting with the hounds. Who's it's, ever said it's a devaluation? You think of players? Players don't want to go. Try players like don't that. want to go out and loan. It's a it's an established fact. Get Steve Sibyl on. He talked about it when we were in what, in here when he was talking about academy players right. and young players coming through that actually don't want to go out and loan to clubs down the pyramids because they think that by coming out of an environment that they're in, like Chelsea, and going to say Preston mm. or someone further down the pyramid, with no disrespect intended to Preston, they actually takes them away from being an elite well, Chelsea player. Does Chelsea fan George think that way? George, good morning. Morning, guys. Great show as always. Um, Thanks, George. Billy Gilmore. Like, uh, Billy Gilmore, I'm so frustrated with it because what a player. What a player. And like to me personally, I think he's better than Chichinio. He runs rings around him, right? He's right. hungry. He's solid. He's got a football head on him. And like to put him out on loan... It's his only option. It, like a couple of months ago, he was in the he was in the Scotland squad, and he's got a European Championship coming up. And the kid, it's probably one of his only opportunities to play for Scotland in a big tournament, and he ain't going to get it because they're not even looking at him now. And I just feel for him, he should go out on loan. And I also feel when these players go out on loan, these youngsters, they should be allowed to play against the parent club. You know? yeah, yeah, I agree with you, George. I mean, to be fair, Billy Gilmore hasn't been featuring for Steve Clark, to, to, to be fair. So we can't bring that into it. So the Euros was never really on, George. But a flexible loan market would allow Billy game what? time and others. And I think that's Why? a key point, George. Why wouldn't the Euros be on? If you, if, you, if you were expecting him to get into Chelsea side, which is the argument being advanced, which is one of the top four sides in the Premier League, why wouldn't he be getting into Scotland side? But he's game time. He needs to show yeah, that but, he can... But, 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 but before he lost the right to have game time, there was an expectation of him playing in the, in the Chelsea side. By the way, to the caller, do you think Tuchel's a good manager? Oh, George has just dropped George off. George has gone, has he? Because I wonder yeah, if he thought he was a good manager. Be, yeah. If he thought he was a good manager, then why would his judgment be flawed about Billy Gilmore? Maybe Billy Gilmore, at this stage, is having one of those little dips that young players have... And maybe we should pair, pair, pair back the narrative mm. of the expectation of what he's doing at the club that's developing him rather than 
slinging him out on loan to clubs that might not actually enhance his career. Okay. Maybe he goes to play for a manager that doesn't doesn't get the dynamics of what Billy Gilmore really needs to do. I'm surprised you to see the merit of this. No, I see the merit a of it. A flexible loan market to, gives him it. the option. But I think there should be a flexible market market full stop. I don't think there should be a transfer window. I know you do with your ghastly little yellow tie twice a year, but I <laughs> don't think that there should be a transfer window. I think it's a restriction of trade and an opportunity for agents. And what we also don't want is yeah. a loan market to be another opportunity for the slugs of the world like Mino Riola to come out and monetize loan moves next. Okay. All right. It's funny how I was mentioned virtually in the same sentence as the slugs of the world. <laughs>